This is the day the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it in spite of our circumstances. Our lives are on display right now. Our lives must be a testimony of the grace and the glory of our God. We are blessed to be alive this very moment. God is displaying this very moment His abundant grace and glory. Don't be discouraged by a chapter one of your life. It all ends well. God behind the scenes is working everything together for our good. Oftentimes we are discouraged because of the seasons that are difficult that we go through. Oftentimes we are discouraged because we compare our chapter 1 with the chapter 20 of another person's story. I thank God that as someone beautifully describes the glory of God, the glory of God will manifest in our lives. This is how he described God's glory. It is who God is. It is the essence of his nature, the weight of his importance. Importance, the radiance of his splendor, the demonstration of his power, the atmosphere of his presence. May in your life and through your life, may God reveal who he is. May in your life and through your life, may the essence of his nature, the weight of his importance, the radiance of his splendor and the demonstration of his power, the atmosphere of his presence be seen as you manifest his will wherever you are. What an honor and what a privilege it is to do the will of God in the power of God for his glory grace someone defined it as the free sovereign favor to the an ill deserving we don't deserve god's grace but god has graciously lavished us with it grace can neither be bought or earned or won by the creature if it could be it would cease to be grace but glory to god we will manifest god's glory and grace wherever god sends us wherever god plants us in jesus mighty name Grace is but glory begun, someone stated. And glory is but grace perfected, hallelujah. May God's grace be seen in your life and may God's grace be perfected in your life as his glory manifest. Grace is the voice that calls us to change and gives us the power to pull it off. Glory to God. Oh God, where grace takes us, grace empowers us to do whatever we are assigned to do in that area. Glory to God. By grace we were saved and empowered for the assignment. In Ephesians chapter 2 from verses 8 to 10, it affirms what I've just said. Grace is not given because we have done good works, but in order that we may be able to do good works. This is the day the Lord has made. May you see and seize opportunities to manifest God's glory as you do God's works that he has empowered you by his grace to do. And doing so will manifest his glory. There are many opportunities opportunities out there they are available for you they come disguised as obstacles and problems but because god lives amongst us through his church we will manifest his glory as christ the head empowers us through his spirit the spirit of christ living on the inside of us will give us the right attitude we need to face whatever we need to face today someone wisely observed that we have a choice every day regarding the attitude that we use to embrace each day life is but 10 percent what happens to us 90 percent how we respond to what happens to us watch how you respond watch your attitude today i want to encourage you as the bible says in first thessalonians chapter 5 from verse 16 to 22 rejoice always and delight in your faith be unceasing and persistent in prayer in every situation no matter what the circumstances are be thankful and continually give thanks to god for this is the will of god for you in christ jesus do not quench or subdue or be unresponsive to the working and guidance of the holy spirit do not scorn or reject the gifts of prophecy or prophecies spoken and revelations given through his word of instruction and exhortation or warning but test all things be careful so that you recognize what is good hold family to what is good abstain from every form of evil withdraw and keep away from it in the name of jesus let's pray father in the mighty name of jesus we thank you that we will know and enjoy you god almighty we will know and enjoy your glory and thank you that through the church the multifaceted wisdom of god and all its countless aspects will be made known thank you father for angels that minister on our behalf thank you father that the cosmos will see your glory and your wisdom and your power through the operation of the church in this age in this time thank you that father we are privileged to be part of the body of christ and we know we are living our lives now through our lives we will manifest your glory and your grace all day every day 
in Jesus' name. It's Pastor Bissane. Have a wonderful, fruitful day.